Ed's face. Margaret says. <laughs> there we go. See, Whoa. now it's all normal. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that uh, the the ride at the carnival. Yeah, the this, boat. This is a pretty good ride, Justin. <laughs> um, someone clip that. Uh, thanks for coming on this ride with us. That was put that required a lot more. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah more, someone more was messing game. with us and swinging us back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, while you were working, uh, Yeah, while you that. were working, someone was doing that. I don't know who, I don't know who did that. But, uh, yeah, long live Reaper I, Land. I, I do have the video, the the pictures from last week. Not that we need to recover them, but I'll throw one of them up. You can talk about it, and then I'll grab these others. All right. So we're gonna okay. vamp. Okay, this is yeah. us vamping. Yeah, we're good at vamping, Chad. But you get to vamp with like. Uh, did oh. you guys show off the overgore? Hmm. Right. No, no, not yet. I don't know if Justin has <laughs> QVC cam set up. Ah, there it's it still is set up from last night. Of course I do. So look at that. There you guys go. Uh, I'm gonna try to move stuff off of here because last night it was a little bit cluttered. And they just left the place all messy. Yeah, guys. Next Thursday, tell them to clean up. <laughs> In chat, clip it. Yeah. Um, there you go. Now technical you direct. Sorry. Oh. So I'll be I'll be technical directing. Justin, those Reaper what are you doing? Things. He has a yeah. dinner. Family in town. Yeah. Wedding. Family in town. Seriously, people. Yeah. Wedding. I didn't go to. Oh, he's wedding. talking about chat. Uh, oh, Chad, okay. not coming to ReaperCon because they have a wedding to go to. Come on, I agree. That's keep up, Justin. Keep up with the jokes here. <laughs> That's probably what Ed was talking about. Yep. <laughs> and we got to hear John say, "Why don't you just get off my back?" Yeah, get off my back, <laughs> chat. Come at me. Uh, Reaperland is the best show on Twitch. I agree with that. It's but can you? Oh, oh. this oh. is a city. Some call it Denton, Texas. We call it Reaperland. Those are some funny videos. <laughs> it's a it's a five minute long video, I think. I think uh, I would have liked to have heard the audio. We couldn't hear the audio. So. Oh yeah, we go fade fade in and out. We'll 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 hear it fully eventually. Starting for real now. Yes. No, no. This is just an infinite oh, yeah. loop. Yeah, we pre recorded this. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we pre recorded this. But yeah, I thought that would be fun. Like five minutes before the show goes live, we go live and then uh -oh. it's like a waiting room. Uh oh. The Earth is moving. Do you uh, ever do you ever feel like you're like zoning out? What do you mean? Like oh, in there? <laughs> no, the camera. Oh. <laughs> uh, Slow that's low. let's see. Rings Raccoon loves your hat. Oh yeah, this. Dave gave this to me. That was from uh, uh, Reaper Fast Pitch. They had some new hats made, and that was one of them that they had made. So they dropped it off. What's the name of this hat? Bu bucket hat, I believe is the I, name of it. I don't know. I believe yeah. this is called a bucket hat. Yeah. I've always called it a fisherman hat, but, you know. That's what I associate it with. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Albie is in. What up, Albie? Red Skull, you have a game in three hours? I'm not finished writing it, and yet I'm watching these two weirdos. Oh, they have a game, like a D&D &D game, maybe? Yeah. Red Skull? Oh, well, we can help you with that. Yeah, yeah, let, uh, us, let us know. I've been there before. <laughs> <laughs> How can we get some What hats? do you need help with? <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, what do you need help with, Dread Skull? You need some NPCs? And in fact, chat, chat, our Dread Skull needs our help. Yeah, we, that's why we, <laughs> welcome, we, we've gone live today to help Dread Skull with his D&D game. That, that wouldn't be, that would be fun. Let's just write some scenarios <laughs> on the spot. Yeah, uh, I think you're wearing one of the new hats too? No, no, no. No. That's, that's, that's an old one. That's an old one. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday, I think you were wearing one. Hmm. And Collins was, Collins has one too? Oh, uh, can't say much. One of the players is sitting next to him. Oh, I see. Have you have you slipped up and told him about the demon room? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one that you told us about. The demon room. <laughs> Disney was playing PGA Tour. I know who we're rating. When we're oh, done. nice. That's awesome. <laughs> who said that? Al Beavison? Nice. Al Beavison, yeah. PGA yeah. Tour. Hey, uh, Ross. I would have guessed. I'm surprised he hasn't played um, golf with friends. A lot of fun. And it's funny. So are you doing the food truck this week? What's up, Bug Lips? Um, I did get a message about it, but I don't know if we are or not. We're actually preparing for our Secret Santa. So we do like a big Friends thing. Yeah. Like I've talked about Friends Miss before, so we do Friends Miss. And in the past, what we do is we draw names for everybody. And tomorrow is our big uh, Secret Santa and our big opening presents day for all of me and me and all of our friends. And tomorrow, so to, yeah, tomorrow. So tonight we're cooking and making cookies. And what do you do on Christmas Eve like and that. Christmas Day? 
Uh, that's for family, really. We go to Sarah's parents. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so we do the friends stuff a week early. Hey. Oh, thanks, Graz. Hey, thanks, Graz. Uh, welcome to all the new people. Uh, Mir Kaba, Joe Skynet, Necromancer, all new names. M- Mon- Moneta, Kraken Flegger, great names. Welcome, everybody that's new. Um, we are matching subs today yes. as well, as it's we do feel every good Friday. Friday. Feel good Friday. Um, so we, 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 we will be matching those 10 gifted subs by Graz Yeti. Thank you, Graz. Um, <laughs> I ganked a free sub. Now I can buy beer. Thanks, Graz. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Dred. Yeah, I, I feel your pain. Because when I used to DM, it was like you'd spend all this time planning this one adventure. And they would go off here. And it was like, no, no, no. Don't you want to go this way? Nah, we nah. want to go over here. <laughs> um, oh, oh, Traps from Home Alone, Nomad Zeke says. Talking to Dread Skull. It's funny because me and Ed were talking about um, Home Alone yesterday during the Christmas party. Because I, I watched uh, Home Alone 1 and 2 mm-hmm. on Wednesday night um, as I was just playing games and stuff passively. It was on my other monitor at home. And those, it's messed up. He's trying to commit murder. He's trying to murder <laughs> those two guys. You know you could rent the house. Oh, really? Where they filmed it, yeah. Oh, nice. And they would, the, the film studio bought the house, and now they're, they're renting it out with all the traps and yeah. everything else there. You oh, know, cool. You could spend one night in there. That's yeah. cool. That's awesome. That's a good marketing yeah. right there. I think, aren't they having a new one coming out? I believe they already did. And that was, that was marketing for that, yeah. I think it came out this year. Um, let's see if I missed anything. Yeah, I've seen that one, uh, Nomad Zeke. I've seen a, a YouTube video where where uh, graphic, uh, I'm sorry, effect artists remake movies, yeah, um, and they remake or sections of movies, and they remake them to where they how they would actually be in real life, um, like Spider Man swinging and he hits the sign, but he just splatters into a, <laughs> a million pieces. Uh, but the, they did an edit of Home Alone of what the actual traps would do oh. to like the human physiology. Wow. Um, but yeah, Home Alone two was way more messed up than one, I think. Uh, yeah, you always have to outdo the first one. Yes. You know. he, he gets hit in the head by like five bricks in a row from the mm. top of a roof. It, he gets shot with a nail gun like four <laughs> or five times. It's crazy. He gets electrocuted. It's it's wild. Yeah. That's kind of like I thought uh, Alien. I liked the Alien movie, but then I really liked Aliens too, or Aliens. Mm. I think that was the best one out of the series. And the mom's a terrible mom. In Home Alone, is she? she's called Child Protective Services on her. <laughs> After the first movie, yeah, just all all old Three Stage, uh, Stooges pranks. Man, I used to love watching Three Stooges when I was little. Yeah, who didn't? Right. I just vaguely have a memory of them in my head because I was so little. Mm-hmm. I just remember watching movies and like popping in a VHS tape of Three Stooges. There you go. Uh, oversleeping with that many kids. Yeah, you're right. No Man's Zeke. And him not waking up from all the commotion. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you have to stretch your imagination for, but it's still fun. It's a good, it's a good fun movie. Yeah, you know, you got to make the script work. Yeah, what doesn't the dad get any blame? You're correct. You you are correct, Dredd Skull. That's that, our Dredd Skull. That's new. That's a, that's a new <laughs> millennial kind of thing. You know? Well, I'm sorry. The parents should both be called. <laughs> yes. You can't stand the Three Stooges. Oh wow, that's the first time I've heard that. Yeah. From Dan Goodchild. Must be a Canadian thing. <laughs> is he Canadian? Yeah. I think Dan is. I think Dan, you're, you're Canadian, right? I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. All right. What's everybody? What's up, everybody? Yeah. It's been a good Friday. Hey, guess what? I'm not tired today. You're not? You know yeah, why? Yeah, well, the show still has to, hasn't finished yet either. Yeah, true. You know why, <laughs> you know why though? You got sleep? Yeah, kind of. I stopped drinking energy drinks like a week and a half ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've been off energy drinks for a week and a half. Did you get a bad headache? Um, not yet. I, I normally do whenever yeah. I go through these binges where I stop drinking energy drinks. But I've just been drinking a lot of water. And I think that seems to help. And getting a lot of sleep. Yeah. But the first couple, the first week, though, I would get home from work and I'd just be sitting at my computer desk. And normally I'm like playing games and watching YouTube videos and stuff. But this time I just lean back and I'd be like... I would just fall asleep, and Sarah would leave to go to work, and she'd come in there, and she'd be like, wake up. I was like sleeping in my computer chair. So I was a lot more drowsy the first week, but I got a lot of sleep because I would go to sleep early. But, yeah, I'm a week and a half without energy drinks. Who needs the new year to start your new goals? You just start whenever, really. It's uh, just a convenient excuse to set goals and make yourself feel good for yes. New Year's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. another thing, New Year's goals. I think we talked about this last year, too. Did we? Yeah, I think we talked about what was we, that on one of the clips that we saw earlier. No, 
Um, I think remember, I remember doing a show last year where we talked about what everybody's plans were for their New Year's, like what they plan on doing. And I think mine was, uh, I was talking about getting the house, I think was one of the things. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mine is, is crushing uh, Justin's will to live. <laughs> yeah, like uh, before the show, he's like, Justin, why don't you go to leave early? <laughs> he's like, I, I don't. <laughs> it's like, you're just harassing him He always about says to leave early. It was like, okay, guys, we got we to gotta shut it down now. <laughs> I got I to gotta go do something. You know, that's my Justin voice right there. Yeah, Red Bull stopped sponsoring Reaperland, so I stopped drinking Reap, Reap, Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure quiet. You can't be doing that much in there, Justin. Well, I'm trying to solve our um, match subs problem. Ah, I we see. have so, a match subs problem? Yes. So when were you going to let us know? The card we have on file. Well, it was a Twitch problem. Now it's an us problem. Uh, so the card we had on file, I think it expired. And, and then I tried to put the other card that we use regularly for other things. Yeah. Then it was like, hey, we gave you a temporary debit. Like, they charged us an amount, and we need that amount in order to verify. Oh. But the person who has that information is on screen. <laughs> oh, well, I could read it to you. Yeah, go ahead and read it to me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we got, we got uh, hacked. hacked. We got hacked. No, he needs the, the amount that was charged to the bank, right? Is that what you need? Correct, as a verification. But hold on. Yeah, we'll use the OF that. the OF card. Which, which bank? Oh well, I couldn't log in anyway from here. <laughs> uh oh. This would be the Amex. Yeah. Oh well. Oh uh, okay. So we might have to do that next week. Yeah. Like seventy-five I have it written down. I'll have it written down. Don't worry. We will match. I got you. Don't worry, oh. chat. Oh. John, always always on the watch. A temporarily debited amount. What I need. Uh, John, one. vamp, vamp. Tri- triple subs. No, I have a bunch to talk about. Um, I was almost late to the show today because after lunch, I was, uh, or during lunch, I was listening to a, a, a new podcast that came out from yeah. Palette Knives. Uh, if you guys know Zambies and Eeny Meenies, yeah. two streamers here on Twitch, uh, they started a podcast together called Palette Knives. Where they talk about all kinds of stuff in the in the industry and in the miniature painting hobby. Was I in there? Um, no, not yet. Well, they did talk about Reaper a few episodes ago about sponsorships and things like that, uh, and other paint lines and companies and well, things like that. Well, then it's not that important if I'm not in there. True. I'll, I'll write them a letter and let them know. Hey, you need to include Ed or uh, Dave Moore. Yeah, uh, Dave Pugh for, of Reaper Miniatures in your podcast. Hey, Justin. <laughs> yes. One dollar exactly. Ah, nice. Well, that- that was easy. But uh, I was listening to their most recent one, so if you guys oh. haven't checked them out yet, it's is a good there, listen. Is there another amount? Because it didn't like that. Just got through Uh-oh. telling me. It was from Twitch for $1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't like $1. <laughs> is, there, is there another figure that you have? Oh, hold on a sec. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. Let me check. Or the cryo tanks. Yeah. Also, speaking of Twitch stuff, uh, Justin, did you see last night? Uh, I think Dave was there, actually, I think. Um, watching uh, Nightheart Gaming. Did you see Frank yeah. cut his beard? I did not. Yeah, it's short now. He just has really? like a... Really he, short? He just has a, a like a... Like a... I don't know what to call it. A, just a, 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 a non-long beard. Okay, <laughs> is the transaction... Is it Hulu? N- no. It'd be Twitch. B&H Photo? <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would be, be Twitch. It would definitely be Twitch. Pornhub? <laughs> wow. Whoa. On the company card. That's impressive. <laughs> nice soundbite. Oh, uh, there is um there's one from X L S X S O L L A. That's it. That's the there's one. two of them. Okay, I want the latest one. The most recent one. Dollar yes. sixty eight. There you go. But yeah, he, he cut his long beard and now it's short. I think I saw you were in chat last night. Yeah. 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 I went on and I gifted some subs to him. And it turns out you were one of the gifty. Re- I did. Yeah. That's how I knew that you were there. Yeah. And you didn't even, you didn't even come in this morning and say thank you. I, I didn't what's know the, until uh, 10 minutes ago. What's the, what's the other one, Dave? A uh, dollar 87. Okay. Well, if this one doesn't work, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> well, I got one for Twitch Interactive and then whatever X S O L L A is. It's X, it's X S O L L A. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold, and hold! Success. It, it just went through. Yeah, that was for last week. There you go. So, all right, and now we, we should be set up to do it again by uh, the end of this. And week. I think we have ten today so far. 
So you don't need the Pornhub amount? I, uh, <laughs> someone click that. The, the OF. Someone click that. Uh, I saw a new name in chat uh, right, right before you gifted the subs, um, but I didn't recognize. But welcome to everybody that j just got gifted a subs. Gifted subs. Sometimes they're on here because it tracks uh, people that have watched the show recently. Yeah. So people that were watching uh, this, this morning, watching Anne, I believe she was working on the ogre. The ogre this morning. Ogre Chieftain. But yeah, it was wild to see Frank cut his beard. Yes, yeah. I liked uh, what he was talking about. Oh yeah, all of his the, digital new, stuff. Yeah, yeah, with mm -hmm. the uh, the engine and everything. Yeah. I never, I didn't get a chance to see it, but I'm, I'm interested in looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Tuesdays, uh, I think, is when he's working on it. Uh, Thursday nights, his casual mixing drinks and talking show, uh, where he mixes a new drink every week. Sometimes they don't work out. Sometimes they do. But yeah, congrats everybody. I need to cut my hair. That's why I'm wearing the hat. That was totally out of left field. Uh, bug lifts. What? Sometimes I shave, sometimes my, head, sometimes I shave my head and look like peanut. Peanut. <laughs> look like a peanut. <laughs> I look like a peanut. Can you confirm this, Wendy? Uh, Miss Ann's stream. I'm home in quarantine, so I got to catch up on painting stuff. Oh, nice, JP. Oh, that's the name that I didn't that I saw. Oh, JP Gatro. Welcome. Thanks for the sub, Kellandros. You actually have the COVID, Calendros. JP, or are you just uh, quarantining for um, safety's sake? This is the cutest. All right, get out of here. Gross. <laughs> what was the word that uh, Ron said last night? Oh, jocularity. Jocularity. That was the word. That is that a new that word? word should, should, I, should I try and rememberize that? Jocularity. I've been going around the shop trying to use words that I learned here on the show, like sus. Yeah, yeah I, I've noticed. <laughs> Dave walks in, hat cocked sideways. Yeah. Looking sus, Ed. Yeah, you're looking pretty sus. Ah, jocularity. It is a good word. Don't gross at our love, John. <laughs> um, he says the carpenters all had the coof, so they're, he's just being safe. Safe. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Not the band. No, 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 no. Probably people working, carpenter, actual carpenters. Um, but yeah, there was Frank. Um, and then pallet, li pallet knives. I talked about that. I didn't get all the way through the episode, so I don't know if they said anything bad about us yet, but I was listening to it. Um, just I, checking to make sure they weren't yeah yeah no i generally listen to all the influencers uh youtube videos and podcasts and stuff so i listen to miniac um goober town hobbies all those big youtubers and stuff i try to kind of keep my feelers out there to see what's going on and what everybody's covering and what's going on um so yeah i i, I tend to listen to those while, while i'm working on some stuff i tend to just play music <laughs> yes, yeah, depending on the mood. And it's always loud music. It's always loud music. And depending on, on the song that I find, sometimes it could be one song, could be like 10 songs that mm -hmm. I would put on repeat. You know, just kind of whatever gets you in that zen. Yeah, I, I tend to listen to albums, like all of the same type of music. Oh, gosh. Nice, too many, nice jocularity buttons. is too many letters for you, Dave. You'd better, you're better off going with mirth. 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 You know what, uh, is that what the wise John? men gave to the... No, that's myrrh, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just making a joke. <laughs> Frankincense and mirth. <laughs> okay, Justin, mirth. What? Mirth? What, about what does that mean? Mirth. Oh, mirth, mirth means, uh, I think it means happiness. What? Joy. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. what did you, it... So like general mirth. So you would, mirth uh, Christmas. <laughs> Can't you just say happy or joyous? Joyous, I think, is a synonym. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could just say joyous. Yes. I don't think very many people actually use mirth. Frankenstein <laughs> and mirth. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Frankenstein and mirth. M mirth means merriment. Oh, that makes sense. So they're shorting merriment down down to mirth. Got it. It's the noun. It's the noun for merry. Okay. Nice. I like that word, mirth. Frankincense and mirth. <laughs> so I'll start using that this next week around the shop. Oh, look. JP Gott uh, said that he hasn't heard the name Buglips in a, a, few, a while, a few years. So JP must be an old forumite. Uh-oh. Yeah, in the old Reaper forum. You're, you're right. The one nice. that has two million posts? Yeah, almost two million posts. Yeah. That's a lot. Um, I was on there this week awarding people awards and stuff. I need to write that up for the forums about awarding people awards. That was in the days of Brian. Are, you, are we not supposed to say that name? Oh, is that yeah. the name, the forbidden name? 
I don't um, think so. Did you see what Trash said? Uh-uh. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, when you're in the hospital and you hit the button to call, call the Murph. Murph. <laughs> 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 That's, uh, who's that boxer? Uh, which one? <laughs> which one? No, the, the, the guy that. Oh, that, Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson, uh, yes. Oh, Murph. <laughs> <laughs> call me a Murph. Call me a Murph. There you go. Good one. It's a good one, Trash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, Brian was at uh, ReaperCon, Brian and Shannon. Yeah. And yeah. I think Shannon's doing something where she's like walking across the country or something. Yeah, Ch- it's a fundraiser or something. Me. Yeah. I see it in passing every now and then, but um, but yeah. But didn't they do that in Harry Potter? There was like some word that you couldn't, you're not supposed to say his, say his name. Yeah, it's Voldemort. And you mm-hmm. said it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 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 Just turn into a snake. Um, there you go. <laughs> Um, oh, so yeah, like we, uh, going back to what we were talking about earlier, Secret Santa. Oh, yes. So this this year we do a, a white elephant exchange, and we normally have different themes every year. So last year's theme was as seen on TV. So you had to buy things that you would see on TV, like in infomercials and things like <laughs> yeah. that. But wait, if yeah. you order now. Yeah, those types of things. But this year we did naughty and nice, or naughty or nice. Yeah. So you can choose something that's naughty or nice. And a lot, obviously, I think a lot of people are going to go naughty yeah. with some things. And so I wanted to talk about the gift that I got. Um, and just, just that could here, go he's wrong gonna be, on so many levels, but okay. Oh, mine is not that bad. Uh, it's naughty, but it's not that bad. Um, okay. Compared to Justin's, uh, Justin's is not that bad either. It, it, it Yours is. is not that bad either. I mean, um, it's not great. But I actually want to get my own white elephant gift. So I, uh, you know, um, do you know truck nuts? Do you know what truck nuts are? Um, it's like when you see a truck and they have the things dangling from there. Oh yeah. Their, those, their, yeah. I would pull up a picture, but I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's but for, I, uh, for guys with small members. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, 3d printed a bunch of, uh, accessories for a, um, for a certain shoe, a certain type of shoe, uh, called croc. You know what crocs oh, are? Yeah. Yeah. No. And on the back, they're basically just, uh, little truck nuts on the back of, that you can put on the back of your crocs. <laughs> so that's that's my white elephant naughty gift this year. Is, uh, yike. And I really want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could three D print nets. that, couldn't you? Yeah. Huh? What? Yeah. Three D print it. Yeah. 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 So I could just three D print them. My you own. Don't want so. you don't want my gift, John? Uh, no, I don't. I don't <laughs> want your gift. He showed me his gift before the show. Well, one half of it. one half of it. Uh, but yes. Uh, so it'll be fun. Maybe we'll have some more stories at the beginning of the new year of some funny moments, maybe that were had that we can share that are appropriate. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, yeah, but I thought Crocknuts was really funny. Yeah, or Croc that's balls. Good. But yeah, super funny. Crocknuts. Oh. They they look super funny. So. And if you order now, <laughs> yeah, get two for the price of one. Yeah, you'll get two Crocknuts. <laughs> Four for the price of two. <laughs> and they're dishwasher Croc- safe. <laughs> Crocticles. I like that one. That's a good one, Graz. Um, but yeah, that that's mine. Very exciting. Very fun. All right, Justin, you ready to show some photos? Voters. Voters. By, by Voters. the way, as a side note, I'm going to call it now, John. I think Paul's the audience. Oh, okay. Do they uh, jingle? Sure yeah, they can, Eldrick. You could put some... Uh, I could. You could put some, like, bells in them or I something. I definitely could do that. Yeah. Since yeah. it's 3D printed, I can just hollow exactly. it out. Just dremel yeah. it. There you and go. get one for free. For two installments of thirty nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe in Bones USA. There you go. Hey, <laughs> hey. There's an idea. We can give it to Ron. See if he could... Uh, yeah. Get ready for an April Fool's joke for next year. I don't think we would ever do that, but <laughs> a croc sickle. There you go. There you go. All right, Justin, you ready for pictures? I am. You want me to load the first one? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So, hmm. Uh, this is the. This is something that I made. Did um, you just yawn? No, I didn't. I, bur- I burped. <laughs> I burped. That was a burp. Go ahead. Um, this. This is something that I was working on real quick. This is just a little checklist for the Reaper Challenge League next year. Uh, This is the quarter one checklist. You can see January, February, and March. Um, And then here's a little sneak peek of the themes for next, uh, for January, February, and March. We have good luck, fresh start in January. I'll explain more about that uh, in the post. In February, you have winged fury. And then March, you have under the sea. Those are the themes for January, February, and March. Okay. And then you have your limited palette in the second row. You have blue, green, and yellow for January. Brown, red, and green for February, and pink, blue, and yellow for March. And then all the other ones, everybody knows what those are. Um, those are the only ones that are static. These change every month, these two. So, 
Um, I got to read Twisted Doma's message real quick before it flies by. Glad I didn't miss the show. I want to say thank you to Lauren Corden. I heard my reaper 12 days of the Sunday. And I guess that I received my box yesterday. Uh, thank you, Lauren and her people. You rock. You're welcome, Twisted. I'll let her know. Yes. I'll write it down. Even though you're supposed to be thanking the office people. That's week. right. But it, no, not you. Yes. You misspelled challenge. Hey, that's why it was. It's not final yet, Lieutenant Floby. Challenge. Yeah, it's it's challenge. It's, challenge. Uh, oh, it's more it's, of a it's, French uh, French pronunciation. No, it's challenge. Yeah, like challenge. Challenge. Yeah. yeah, this is just. Uh, it's not done yet. Uh, but yeah, it's it's. Fancy. I was trying to make it a little bit more spruced up. You know what I mean? Put in it. What is it? That is an exante goo that goes over the e at the very end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's challenge. <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Um, I, it hasn't been translated to English yet. This is the French version. So, um, but yeah, well, there you go. That's a little sneak peek of uh, the next quarter's stuff, and I'll have one of those for each of the quarters coming up next next week. <laughs> nice. All right. See, Treasurama uh, appreciates, and so does Rings appreciates my tax work. Hey. If, yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of taxes, I got to talk to you about that later. Oh. Okay. Nothing crazy. Just something new. Was it the federal agents? Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's now that I have a house, I don't know what to do. Oh, okay. They got to yeah. send me my 1090. Yeah, 1098. 1098, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and all that stuff. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, all right, this one is from Andrew Fippen. No. Oh. I think I'm hoping I'm saying that last name right. Fippen? It was, it was, it was like that. Mr. Um, Fippen really likes the dragons. Yeah, this was for his um, uh, D&D adventure, the like Path Holy of Dragons. Holy crap, or are you dragons. serious? Yeah. He's going to throw a party in with all those dragons? I'm assuming the whole campaign has all you fighting all these different <laughs> dragons and stuff like that. Den of dragons. I'm um, going to call this campaign TPK. Yeah, there you go. This one's going to kill the healer. This one's going to kill the tank. No. Uh, shout out to Andrew. This is his end of year. A um, bunch of dragons. A lot of Bones 5 dragons in there, too. Shout out, shout out to you. Also, I like that you went with almost different colors, but there's a lot of green in the, the middle dragons and then the one down here, Shavinra. But I, I like the skin that you did on that one. But that's a lot of work. And then the one lone wizard. Yeah. Man. Maybe he's the one fighting them all. Yeah. That's Maybe. one badass wizard. That's his character in the in the campaign. And then next we have Angela Nesbitt and her end of year posts. Um, a lot of Bones USA. I'm sorry. There's only one Bones USA in here. All the other ones are Bones Black. I, it's lagging a bit. There it is. There it is. Yeah. So Angela... Yeah, so you got the toad down here, the little toad demon. Mm -hmm. These things, I believe this is a metal model. Yep. And then obviously the diorama here. But nice, all 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 stuff. I believe she entered this one into the quarterly contest, and the bottom right into the quarterly contest as well. Those are both quarterly contests. And then you have the cleric, the war the war cleric over there. Very cool stuff, Angela. I also like the little picture she put in the middle with the ninja holding the cat. Very cute. And then we have. Go to the next one. I don't know if it's going to show up. Ah, oh, there you go. I have it different on my phone. This is Conair more or less did this one. This is the herbalist. Oh, cool cool yeah. basing. I love the sickle. Very cool. Also, the really cool eyes. Yes. The way that Bobby sculpted this one gives it a lot of personality in the face because she's examining the, the leaf or the flower. And they actually put in a lot of detail in the leaf, so that's good. Mm-hmm. It's the highest point. I think Proctor is the one that always talks about uh, in your composition, you want to look at the triangle to kind of draw your attention. And so that, yes. that yeah. it's the top of the triangle, sickle, and then maybe the, the quiver or the bag. That's how I would look at that. But You still have that yeah. uh, Proctor soundbite, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And don't that's be our, afraid that's our... to create a total pile of dog shit. <laughs> That's way, our new. That is our new official <laughs> outro. <laughs> Told uh, Michael about it, by the way, and he he loved it. So. Okay, yeah, good. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, he he. You haven't had a chance to use it on his show yet, so I have not. It's coming up. Mm -hmm. Ah, provincial life. Anyway, very cool. I love the shading, especially okay. in the pouch and uh, the the what is it the tube there or something yeah it looks like a some kind of container yeah like a map case or something yes. like that yeah um next up we have Corey miller working on the gingerbread night gingerbread cookie night second. yeah it takes a second, second. his computer's <laughs> bogging down but yeah i've seen a lot of people paint the buttons and stuff mm -hmm. all kinds of different colors and things like that my Was favorite like a gingerbread soldier yeah he's like a gingerbread knight he has yeah. like a candy cane sword yeah um 
It looks more like a rifle, but you know. Oh yeah, like the way he's holding it. Yeah, yeah. Like he's like, doom, 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 how he's gonna be stepping through the thing. But he's super cute. I like his little yes. candy cane uh, shoulder pad, little candy cane shoulder pad there. His yeah. pauldron, super cute. Um, I also like the different effects that people are doing to make it look like a cookie. It's giving it this kind of like rough texture around it, like it's kind of like almost a burnt Very good. gingerbread cookie. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to Corey. And then next we have two photos. This will be Dan Marsh painting oh, the freebie. Yeah. This is uh, Henry F., the, the new Bones USA model for this month, and it's painted to look like this bunny. <laughs> and, and so I can't remember the name of the bunny. I'm sorry. But uh, that this was painted to look like uh, their, their, their family bunny. Mm-hmm. I think you can even tell yeah. by the little mole there, the pink ears with the yeah. black ears. Very cool. Yeah, especially if you see them side by side. It looks like, oh, yeah, I see what you did there. And I, I, I think I saw a lot of people doing this. Uh, you know, if they have pet bunnies and stuff like that. But it's always good to have real life reference too. But I, I like this nice addition. Years, nice years touch. ago, when we were when we were painting and and playing at the conventions, the uh, uh, a company came out with bunny rabbits that were dressed as English soldiers, colonial mm-hmm. colonial uh, soldiers, and uh, they they were nicknamed. We called them bun rabs, and. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, then of course, then the, the name for him, the regiment was always the King's own buns. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm sure there's people in chat that know. Yeah. It's one of those from. old things. We're, we're talking like the eighties <laughs> there. So, you know, well, there'll be more rabbit folk minis. Um, I don't know. You will never know. Oh, sorry. That's your name. You will never know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They know. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. That's a wrong question. That's a big wrong question. Yeah. Yes. Curse the 1880s. Exactly. Go with my Ralph curse, Hartha. Curse gets me. 18, oh, 1880s. <laughs> the classics, you know. Um, and then next up after the bunny, we have Dave Typo working on the Undead Warrior here. Oh, yeah. Um, That's a cool figure. Really cool one about this model, though, is that he painted one of the eye sockets. You can barely see it up at the top there. One of the eye sockets has an eye in it, and the other one doesn't. Mm-hmm. So he kind of like uh, kept it the orbital, the ocular socket yeah. um, empty, which I thought was a cool touch. Not very many people kind of do that little touch there, but I thought that was very cool. Um, so shout out to Dave. Also, I like the different types of armor there. The gold in the middle there with the uh, the brass type. Cape work. Into it. Yeah. Super cool. I, the eye thing was really cool touch, Dave. That was nice. What mini is that? Uh, I believe this was in Bones 5. Maybe the encounter at Galagard, maybe, um, if I remember correctly. Next up is... Dr. Faust. So we've we've seen all these pictures of everybody's yearly best. Yeah. So he made a meme of uh, you in the middle and then all your unpainted models. So all the different boxes, all the spr- sprues, all the bottle, all the models from Bones 5. Ah, uh, there oh, it is. There's the There yard. it is. Sorry. Uh, but I'm not tired, I swear. But... <laughs> um, but yeah, this is this was the big meme of it all, making fun of everybody posting all their yearly stuff. But this is the all the unpainted models. I like the have. picture in the lower lower uh, right. Yeah, being buried. <laughs> That's when Bones Five shows up. That'd be a good meme if you like put like Bones Five over all the boxes and then put you on underneath it. That's nice. Good one. Next one is from one of the Reddit users, Dungeons and Drygens. Oh wow! Look at yeah. that. Yeah, this was um. Super cool. This is a Pathfinder model, uh, but man, that freehand. I think we might have shown this one off before, but um, they showed it off on the on the Reddit newly mm-hmm. on the Reddit. So uh, I grabbed it N- regardless. It there's doesn't a, matter. There's we'll a lot on that figure to talk about. Like yeah. the, I like the sand on the skull, the way he did that highlighting and mm-hmm. stuff. It's, you could literally almost see like the the wind blowing the sand just around it. And That's, the freehand, obviously. That is a, that is a And good the touch. sword. Man, yeah. The eyes, the face, everything about this model is like, I, I wonder how long it took. <laughs> this yeah. is what I want to know. Yeah. How long it took to paint this. Uh, this was from Dungeons and Drygens on the Reddit. Because um, sometimes uh, people will post things across all the platforms and they have sometimes they have different names. Oh, yeah. So sometimes yeah. it's a little bit hard for me to remember who's what names on what platforms. Uh, but yeah, the freehand on this is insane. So, oof. He probably went blind after doing it. <laughs> or just, you know, sometimes you just have really good, like, the visor. Oh, yeah. You have a really steady hand when you don't drink energy drinks. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Next up is another end of the year. This is from Ernest Rattlespack. Did this one. Uh, he has his uh, 
the, one of my favorite models is in the middle, the, the middle top, the yeah. middle top. I, I love that cleric. Um, and then the Halloween bottom on the bottom right there with the sickle and the, the bird with the broom. Yeah. I, I like that model a lot too. I like the overgourd mm -hmm. and then the, uh, the one right below them. I like that figure. Oh yeah. In the middle. Yeah. Yeah. This is, these are cool. I always like these. This is, this kind of started up a few years ago where people started picking their, their favorite models that they painted. But, uh, what top, what is the top right? I believe that's one of the, uh, Rangers. I don't know if that's one. I don't know if that's a Reaper model, but it doesn't look, I don't think I like the Reaper. format with the nine, but it's hard to see up close, you know, the, yeah. the any individuals. The, the, yeah. Yeah. Um, the goal is hopefully is that we showed most of them off during the year, but sometimes we miss them. Sometimes we don't, you know, next up is evil halfling on the forums was writing a big write up about their new D and D game. Oh. So it's their first D and D game in person. And oh, so these yeah, are all the since, models. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not the very first one ever, but the first but one the, since yeah, the pandemic. Since the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is their new adventuring party, um, kind of little stand-ins for all their players. And I thought that was cool. Fun little touch for the community. Everybody's starting to get back together and yeah. playing games with everybody yeah. in person. So. Hopefully the D and D groups will come back to the store when we get that. Open. Oh yeah, yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I hope, especially if we market it and yeah. push it really hard. Uh, 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 Bill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to uh, Toad the Gobo. Toad the Gob the Gobo Gobo. Great Gobo. name. Next is Greg Brockway working on Enriaf. It's another one of the bunnies. <laughs> Look the at bun that. Buns. Nice. Look at the face on this one. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely tell. Very the, subtle cha uh, color changes and whatnot. Yeah, and then yeah. Then the, the pink in the ears, but it's overtone white. Yeah. And kind of the, the white tip on the tip of the uh, ears. Yeah. And the toes, the little white mm -hmm. features. Good good touches there. The eyes look really good on this one. Uh, a little, You can tell that the model maybe has a little bit of a smirk mm -hmm. sculpted in there when she's kind of like doing a little half well, smile. She's carrying a crossbow. Of course she's smirking. <laughs> <in there. laughs> so shout out to Greg. Great, 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 great. Uh, oh, the flocking, too. The flocking looks really good on the base. Shout out to Greg. Next is uh, Hudson. Hudson's working on his shadow dragon. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I think I only have this one angle. This was the best angle for it. Um, but, yeah, because I wanted to sh highlight that blue undertone underneath the scales there. Um, I always like it when people do their scales with a different color on top and the bottom to kind of show that underbelly yes. of it. Uh, plus, also the shadow of it all uh that's my new documentary the shadow of it all it'll be <laughs> premiering on twitch next week i'm just kidding um and then next we have jacob niles it's another end of year model another, another end of year uh six seven eight eight models yeah uh, this look like a bunch of adventuring party stuff with a maldricar painted yeah. a maldricar in the bottom right uh almoran the gold in the middle middle mm -hmm. top uh, almoran the gold a really popular model and then uh Oh, I can't remember this wizard's name. I know, but it's he always reminded me of like holding a scroll going, I know it's here somewhere. <laughs> I think that's Galadon. <laughs> Galadon? I believe that's Galadon. Because the small world Galadon looks like this. Pretty sure that's Galadon. Mm. Um, yeah, here's a Sophie right here too. Yeah. This is Barmaid Sophie or Barkeep. Barkeep mm -hmm. Sophie. Woo, woo. Go Sophie. I mean, you don't really see Sophie as a blonde very often. No, so you don't. Sh shout out to Jacob. Next is Jim Hagen doing his best of year. Um, this is, this is a very old the werewolf zombie model. werewolf. Yeah. He's yeah. ripping the skeleton in there. Yeah. Um, I forgot about I that I haven't model. seen that one in a while. Yeah. <laughs> but I like what he did with the trans, translucent blue on the top right with the spirits. Mm -hmm. Um, because if you notice inside that, it's really hard to look at the translucent models and see what all the details are. Unless yeah. you like prime them or things like that. But there's a bunch of different skeletons and stuff inside of the spirit wall. So it looks like kind of like ghost flame around them. But there's more spirits like flying up out of them. So it's a very fun model. And then Boren, Ironbrow, I think, Ironbow, um, right here, the dwarf, Dungeon Dweller model. So nice gym, nice, nice painting. Got, some, got a nice mix of some heroes and some monsters in there to fight. A lot of monsters. Oh, this, this next one's pretty cool. Uh, this is from Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Macius, if you guys haven't seen those. But if, if you look... Uh, and the next, I took an, I took another one of the pictures that's coming up next, but on like right here, yeah, you can see the eyes underneath yeah. the helmet. Yes. Yeah. Um, and he, it looks like he got really in there cause they're really, they look really good. Um, the shading on the metal is really good. Yeah. And the, the cloak. Yeah. 
Oh, so good. Uh, just like that added addition of you can see the eyes yes. through the, through the yeah. slits. Um, man, it must be the tiniest brush ever to get in there. But yeah, these are the maggot crown guards. That's what they are. I think we're not used to paint, you know, you'd, you, the, the brushes would wear mm-hmm. down mm-hmm. and the, the bristles. And then you'd finally have these ones that were just for that super, super uber fine that you wouldn't be able to buy. But <laughs> they had worn down to that level. Uh, next is Kangaroo Rex uh, with the Space Eater mouseling. Oh, yes. So there's that's, uh, that's on a T-shirt, I think 2009 the, or something. 2010. We have a. It's a poster in the in the in the four year in the four. And it's the four. mouselings in space. It's mouselings in space. It was artist yeah. conference. Oh, okay. I think 2012 yeah. or 13. Yeah. Um, artist conference. Back when artist conference was open to the public. Public. Yeah. In fact, I think there's one of the mouselings there, and in, mm-hmm. in the gold helmet. Yeah, he's holding yeah. it. Yeah, he's squeezing it. It's the it's the mouseling eater in space. But yeah, the eyes and stuff are really cool. The reflective mask, purple belly, nice. I also like the basing on this one. Um, very cool. But he doesn't have all the other mousings in there. Minus points to Gryffindor. <laughs> uh, oh, speaking of minus points to Gryffindor, they're doing the 20th anniversary, or the 25th anniversary? Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. It's one of those two. Um, on uh, TV, uh, I think it's New Year's. New Year's Day? What, or, of Harry Potter? Of Harry Potter. So oh. they're all getting back together and oh, talking really? about it. Yeah. yeah, I think it's like 20, 20th or 25th anniversary. It has to be the twentieth anniversary, right? Um, yeah. But I'm excited be to watch that, that long ago. <laughs> I'm excited to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it was an end of an era. Mm. Uh, Mail says the twentieth. Yeah, it's the twentieth. It'll be on TV, I think. It's come, it's come the New Year time. I'm excited to watch it. Um, let's see. The next one is. Uh, yeah, Kevin. Mm. Kevin Sage did this one, Crap. or Sage. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, oh, this is, we showed this uh, dragon off down here. Remember, yeah. uh, he had, yeah. he had the leaf as mm-hmm. reference that he found outside. Yes. Um, very amazing. I love the dragon wings on this one. So shout out to shout out to Kevin on this one. And then also the the big griffin up here, the Robbie Holder. Yeah, we we don't know what this model is. That's not there. Um, the bottom two aren't there either. I don't know what those are. They're all right or whatever, I guess. <laughs> And they're the, they're okay. <laughs> and they're great. You know, whatever. You know, if you got nothing to do. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then next we have Kyle Jameson. Uh, this one was really cool. Um, this is the Air Elemental, mm-hmm. um, Air Elemental Spirit. Yeah. And they got some like some PVA glue, mixed it together with some sand, and kind of put it all over the model. So it looks and like so, the wind spirit's picking it all up. So yeah, uh, the the uh, so it's picking up the dirt as yeah. it's yeah spinning yeah. Turned into like a du- a dust devil, dirt devil. <laughs> they they look like knockoffs. <laughs> Metal Drink says, um, but yeah, I, I thought this was cool. I like this one. Very, very cool thematic change to what uh, you, you know the air elemental taking on its its surroundings. Yeah, turning into a little dust devil. <clears throat> that would be cool. Cursed if they had a vacuum elemental go around your house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Roomba elemental. When I come back, the original Roomba. <laughs> I want it all done. <laughs> yeah, the wizard leaves his house and he's like. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. You clean, you pick this up. Yeah. Um, next is Mark Bright. Oh yeah, I saved this a few weeks ago. Um, this is from Mark Bright. Um, him and his wife on the Facebook page have been. She started painting models recently, and so they paint the same models and, together. Yeah, together. Yeah. And so I can't remember which one is what. Uh, oh, it's on the left or right. This has been a few weeks ago now. Um, but if I remember correctly, the one on the right is the wife, and then Mark is on the left. If I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, very fun. I like I like this little series that they do where they get big models and paint them together. Yes, uh, and you can see how cold it is. I mean, they did really good at transferring the image of oh, yeah. of snow and cold. Yeah, I like how it's settled on the the right mammoth. Yeah, you can kind of see how it's settled on the little grooves and cracks of all the armor. Yeah, um, very cool. They shake it off. I bet you that'd be fun to see. But shout out to Mark Bright and his. You know, wife. there were some scientists that want to do that. To bring, to bring them back, back the woolly I did mammoth. hear about that. Yeah, I did hear about this. The mammoth, the mammoth and the dad. <laughs> That'd be cool. What do you think about that? I would want them to come back, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what you want to do, sure. I feel kind of bad though. They would probably keep them in like some kind of like zoo or facility. Obviously, they zoos, would have to. But zoos but, aren't bad. Yeah, no, they'd yeah. have to keep them in. A... I, oh yeah, <laughs> there'd be all kinds of people trying to like poach them. I guess I don't know. Steal them and breed their own mammoths. That's a different timeline. That's Earth 2. 
Oh, come on, Dan. <laughs> Dan. Come on. Wouldn't it be great to go to uh, Jurassic Park? Mm. Uh, yeah, Jurassic Park in real life. We'll say to clarify, because I did read up on that a little bit. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Mm-hmm. They were uh, talking about splicing and mirroring that DNA with a, a music. So yes. It wouldn't uh, technically be a no, no. It would, it, yeah, but, but it would be close. The, you know. the DNA would be a mirror of, so yeah. for all intents and purposes. It would be, but it would probably be more like a really furry species. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. Fun times. Less of a where am I, more of a what happened to me. <laughs> Pachyderms are social. Yeah, being being the only one of your kind. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Sag. Um, Sag. Sag. Oh, it's oh, a Twitch uh, thing. It's, it's sus, Dave. Don't worry. Sus, yeah, sus. No. No, it's uh, Sag. Sag, yeah. Sag. It's not sus. <laughs> yeah. Twitch chat has this habit of adding a G-E at the end of everything. So like um, Sag, S-A-D. Yeah. And it, you're sad. Yeah. But you just say Sag. <laughs> and then Prage, like Prey. Yeah. It's Prage. Um, okay. Madge. <laughs> M-A-D-G-E. Yeah. I don't know why that is. They just do. I okay. <laughs> um, this is Mended Brush Studios who did this one. This is the old uh, illusionist uh, Dragon Keeper Sage model that we have. Um, look at this a little attempt of OSL here. Um, I really like it uh, shining on the hair. You can kind of see the hair is really blonde on the right, and then mm-hmm. it gets that redder tone on the left side. So very fun OSL practice here. Um, I also like how the dragon is dark on the top. Again, that's an old figure. Yeah, this is a very old one. I haven't one. seen that in a while. 26 yeah. something, 23 something. Um, let's see here. Next is Mike Manzo with his cookie night. This one's a little bit more burnt. Mm. Um, he's a little bit more crispy, you know, he's a little <laughs> bit more, he's a little bit more gruff around the edges. If you know, know what I mean? The enforcer. Yeah. With his little gumdrop buttons, not the gumdrop buttons, <laughs> but I also like the, how he outlined the black on the feet there to kind of make him pop out a little bit more. Also a lot of black lining here. Very fun. Um, uh, I like the addition of the light in the eyes to see where the eyes are looking. Mm-hmm. Um, very fun, but I also like the, you can, oh man, the head, the for, the forehead really yeah. has a lot of texture of that cookie. Like he did some stippling and added some little dark spots on the top and on the arm there to give it that cookie texture look. So I think that's really fun. Shout not out to a, Mike. Not a bad idea, Twistoma. Yeah. Turn them loose in West Texas. And it's kind of like the African Serengeti and you know, <laughs> does he know the muffin man? Yeah. I don't know. Let's ask Mike. Uh, I think Mike is a streamer. Mike moans. Uh, or no, this is Mike Manzo. Sorry, different people. This is Mike Manzo, not the streamer. Um, oh, this next one is Mike Moans. <laughs> That's where I got confused. Oh, okay. This one is Mike Moans, the streamer. This is the uh, dwarf crossbowman that came out a few months ago. Um, look at that gold plating. He's doing very well for himself. Mm-hmm. Mercenary, making a lot of money. He, he can afford some gold armor. Mm-hmm. Um, but this model is very good. Um, I was telling Ron the other day that I saw some of the new Bones USA coming, and they looks like Bones USA is just getting better and better and better, in my opinion. Uh, they look amazing. Some of the new, uh, we have some more kobolds coming out. Uh, Ron, Ron mentioned that we have a bunch of new stuff coming out in like January, February for Bones USA, a lot of Bones USA coming. And man, they look crisp. So if you haven't picked yourself up this one, little plug here, you can get them at reapermini.com. <laughs> um, here we go. Oh, here's another one of the... Uh, Nihilville uh, did kind of the same thing with that uh, skeletal yeah. warrior. So this is Bones 5 model. With the eyes. Yeah. yeah, you can see how he has the one socket in there and the yeah. one out socket. Yeah. Um, super cool idea. Yes. Uh, you don't see that very often. You know, just roll up some green stuff and pop it in the eye. You're good to go. Paint it up. And then, the, of course, you know, being a skeleton, they wouldn't, like, polish. And clean their armor. Clean yeah. their armor and stuff. So did an excellent job yeah. on that. Yeah. They've been crawling through the mud, walking in the rain. But this is a new, new cool idea that I haven't seen very much of. So shout mm-hmm. out to Nye Hillville. Carrie, Mi- Carrie Michael, you'd have to probably talk to Ron on Reaper Live. They're, they're not new kobolds, I'm sorry. They're like um, the, the Bones kobolds, oh. Bones 5 kobolds that yeah. are going to be coming out. Um, but they'll be made in Bones USA. They'll be in Mo- Bones USA material. Yeah, 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 they're not like brand new. But they're, they're in the new material, there you sure, go. should I say. Um, New my, and improved. Yeah, they're my favorite cobalts that we have. And for three installments of thirty nine ninety five, <laughs> uh, and your firstborn, just send them on in. Uh, next one is from uh, Pochi. 
Pochi did this next one on the on the uh, on the Discord. Pochi did this one. This is the Bones Five Greek Odyssey expansion. Um, the I can't remember her name and her boars. Uh, no, um, Cersei, right? Cersei, Cersei and her boars. So there's our two boars on the left and right, and then Cersei. I like the skin color here. Matches really well with the uh, fabric, the purple fabric, and the red hair. Mm -hmm. Good color choices there. So shout out to Pochi, one of our Australians, I believe, I think. Gosh, there's so many people I have to keep up with. <laughs> I try to do my best, chat. Um, uh, JP, what is it? G got Chris? The new guy. You're the new guy. Mm. Yeah. JP got yeah. Gatro. You have to you have to also cut me some slack. I'm a boomer. So yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna kinda go off into those those habits uh stereotyping that uh, I do. Yes. Uh, you know. yes. Next one is from Ronald O four four nine. Ronald. Wait, is it there? Oh it's lagging, sorry. I'll let it catch up. This is from Ronald, uh painting this little Wraith model here. Um cool little thing is a lot of people may paint this model and this one always creeps me out uh it's really hard to cast this model on metal hmm. uh, because of all the tentacles in the yes, bottom here i could see that yeah um a lot of the times like rats and things with tails you have to make sure that the tails are complete and so when you're casting this thing in metal you have to make sure that all the tentacles are complete a lot of the times they stop in the middle so like it'll be going and then stop and then pick up somewhere else so this model is a pain in the butt but I believe this one very is a cool. Bones Black version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, very fun. I like all the little things that they added up at the top, this little kind of brass yes. head fixture. And the staff has these tentacles with the eye stalks at the end. You can kind of see the eyes at the very mm -hmm. end of the stalks of the of the staff there. Yeah, it's an excellent, excellent model. Very fun. And um, an excellent paint job. I love it. Yeah, shout out to Ronald. And then Rubicon did this next one. This is the dancing girl uh, from Rubicon. Nice shading on the tummy. I like the skin tone texturing, the blending of the skin tone there. Good um, color choice, the yeah. orange and gold. Red, yeah. yeah, red, orange, gold. Good colors with the uh, kind of the black hair. So shout out to And Rubicon. the floor, yeah. Oh, yeah, the flooring, yeah. Yeah. Oof. That flooring looks like it was hard. <laughs> I want to ask Rubicon. Rubicon, are you in chat? Uh, let us know how you did that base. I'll, I'll ask you later on Discord as well. Uh, oh, this next one's fun. This is, next one is from Ruben. Ruben Martinez um, painted up the um, shield with that little, uh, looks like a teeth, looks like a, yes. the top mandible yeah. of like a, a bear or a tiger, saber tooth tiger or something. Probably to, to denote his clan, or like what orc clan he's in. But I like this uh, off, off green teal color for the skin. Yeah. Because uh, most orcs and goblins, you know, you see them as like a green or a, a light red or something. But I like this kind of teal color that you have going on here. But I like the addition of painting the, you see the shield, how it has that flap that's been like cut, mm -hmm. that leather strap with yes. maybe some wood underneath. Yeah. Very fun. A little addition to paint that there. So shout out to Ruben. Very fun. I like the, the shoulder pad as well. A really good uh, NMM on the sword and shoulder pad. This one tells a story is what I would say. Next is Scorpion Gish. Uh, painting Tinker the Gnome, <laughs> one of the uh, Christmas models. Tinker the Gnome, nice base with the flocking as well. Very Christmassy. You could see him saying, "Well, there's some parts left over. <laughs> well, I must have done it right." <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. The Roomba should be working. <laughs> uh, also, like uh, the ice looks like it's kind of mushy, like he's been walking around, like it's mm -hmm. all sloshy. Yeah. Um, very nice touch. Next, we have Scott Nicholson with his end of year. And there's a lot of purple in this. Yeah. Is, is your favorite color purple, Scott? Um, or is that just the color Blues you work purples, best with? Yeah. Look at that. Almost every model has purple in it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's a good color. But man, a lot of big models here with Gorma. Uh, two different Cthulhu's, it looks like, on the bottom left and right. Are not Reaper models. But then you have another uh, Eldritch Horror up here from Bones 5. Um, and then the Mamatar. A lot of big models. Mm-hmm. There's that spirit flame on the top right again. Yeah. And then we have, how many more models do we have? Uh, oh, we have five. We have five models left. Okay. We're kind of running on time. Oh, yeah, we are running on time. But Justin doesn't have any place to be tonight. Yeah. It just what means is we John? Be, so it works out. It just means we won't be able to play marbles. So, uh, Small Beards is next with the Greek, Greek uh, bronze golem. 
Yeah. And one of the Greek heroes, the Greek archer. But nice patina effect there. Uh, Very cool, good. Yeah. Cool base on the uh, in the next picture. Uh, it has the base without the golem on it. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, kind of that mosaic oh, cool. tile. Oh, yeah. Nice. That mosaic, mosaic tile kind of yeah. effect with the... Is that like a boar? Yeah. yeah. It's a boar. Um, and then uh, owl? I don't know what that other one is, the one on the left. Well, yeah, I think it is. Uh, with the tree. Chicken? It's a chicken? Oh, the, well, the chicken, chicken came first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, chicken, sure. Yeah. Chicken. Uh so shout out to check out to small beards for that one. Small breads, sorry. Not beards. Small, small breads. Beards. Small breads. Oh, Night Hill Night Hillville's in chat. We showed off some of your pieces earlier. Uh with the eye. Uh the skeletal. Oh, with the eye. Uh next is Stefan. Stefan Teden working on uh Black Sting. Oh yeah. This one's very cool. I love this dichotomy of the blue and red. Uh, kind of blending in with the shadow underneath. No, we're doing marbles. Oh, we are? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we are. Hell yeah, we're doing marbles, brother. It. Hell yeah in chat. Kona, brother. Um, Next is Thomas Palick. I'm trying to finish these these last ones off. Uh, with his end of year. Uh, with the Frost Giant Ranger being his biggest photo there. Um, and then all the obviously all the different sized rats right here. Uh, the Orc Champion up in the middle. But the frost giant yeah. is the, the biggest one there. And the hippogriff? The hippogriff? Or hippogriffin, yeah. The griffin. Again, haven't seen something like that in a long time. Uh, it's our old metal griffin. I think we have one in Bones as well. The same model. Uh, next is Travis Hoy with the epic battle of Santa Claus versus... Uh, Cro uh, Crocus. Uh, Krampus? Krampus. Yeah, yeah. Versus Krampus. Krampus. Krampus? Uh, Merry Krampus. Come on, Krampus. <laughs> I got a fiver on you. <laughs> uh, one rule about Fight Club: We don't talk about Fight Club. But this is a fun model, a uh, fun idea, a fun uh, diorama of Santa versus Krampus, which I don't think I've seen in a while. So shout out to Travis. And then last but not least, we have Vakir working on a Christmas present for for his mother. Oh, look at um, that! So he he's always been painting for ever since he was little, and his parents facilitated him painting. And so he wanted to give a gift uh, for, uh, to his mom. And so this is going to be a pen holder on her desk for Christmas. Nice. So Very nice. Sh shout out to Vec here Very for that. Very cool. And there we go. Sorry, I had a lot since last week. Yeah. Been saving up a lot of photos. Also, recently. last week we said we'd do an extra marbles. That's right. Since jo Justin had to run. So we do three. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll, we'll get marbles set up and we'll get going. Plus, also, we're not going to be here next Friday. That's right. Christmas Eve. And I, Yeah, you're right. I don't have anywhere to be right now, so. Let's do it. Let's uh, do it John to it. John says bitterly as he swallows. I don't. I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to be. I don't have any gun here. Oh, that's rumble, Sarah. Rumble. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, she calls me. Where are you at? <laughs> I probably got to help make cookies or something tonight. So you guys are saving me some some baking time. Are we going to be here New, York, uh, New Year's Eve? Um, is that next? That's the following week. Yeah. yeah I think, I yeah. think we will be. Yeah, yeah. I don't. We don't have that day off. I don't. Yeah, think. no, we don't. <laughs> be drinking, celebrating. Yeah, we will be here that the following week. Right, because New Year's Day is Saturday. Is Saturday correct? Yeah, right. gives you a weekend day to recover. <laughs> you do a lot of drinking on New Year's Eve, Justin. No, no, no at all. You don't mm -mm. Not really, other than like for actual like New Year's. No, I don't really. Not really a drinker. No, oh, me neither. I used to be, and then I stopped. <laughs> I was an adventurer once. Yeah. Let me sit back and tell you some of my times. <laughs> yeah, we'll be drinking on Reaper Land next <laughs> in two weeks. <laughs> we'll pop open a <laughs> champagne. <laughs> they still talk about the uh, tequila chugging episode of Reaper Live. Wait, wait, who did that? That was uh, Adrian and Ron and I think Michael Proctor and Ed. Really? Yeah. This you happened? Justin, you remember that? I do. Oh, yeah. wow. I don't remember that. Yeah. yeah we fake chugged. Oh, yeah. fake chugged. Got it. Yes. We weren't really chugging. For, for uh, what is <laughs> it? Bro broke the movie magic. Ah. <laughs> for uh, for not getting banned purposes. Oh, oh look. On Bedlam. That's the, uh, isn't that the town where Jesus was born? <laughs> yeah, Bedlam. <laughs> big, th this one has a Bedlam. big death count. No, so we're going to do this one, and then we're going to do the 1% about it. All right, chat. Get your exclamation point, I got point, my phone please. this time, Justin. Uh-oh. Now you're going to pay. Get your exclamation point play in chat if you're new here. 
This is a physics-based racing game where you try to be the first marble to, to be at the end. Nice intro. I gotta, I gotta design my marble. <laughs> Find some time to do that. That's a, that's one of our New Year's Eve goals. There you go. New There's my New Year's Eve goal right there. Decorate design marble. My, yeah. There's Reaper John with his little robot marble. Smoke. Mac and cheese. It looks like I uh, still have the little fox. The fox. Yeah, we'll little fox. Jay Slugger. We're trying to, you know, still trying to use that good luck. Even though you know St. Patty's Day is not for a little bit, a little bit of ways. Yeah, we talked yeah. about it last week too. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to burn down Christmas. Oh, oh. oh. Who, who was just, that? Who just? Who was? Was that Jay Slugger? Nope. It was Freestyle. Yeah. Freestyle. Yeah, look at that. Looks like a Christmas tree. Christmas lights. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. All right. I oh. called dibs on first place. Oh, oh that's how well, it works. okay. Yeah, Gares has already called it. Damn. Yep, guys. You if look. I'd only thought. Everybody just hold back and let grass go. This one has a high death rate, so uh, good luck, everybody. I guess we're supposed to move out of the way. We'll just move slightly out of the way. Yeah, get the hell out of the way, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Going off screen. I, I, can't even, I can't even see it. I'm playing the game. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh, it looks like Cursed. Cursed 13 is not so cursed. Really? Uh, out, out in first. I, I could be cursing them right now. Uh, we'll see after they get shot out of this cannon. Oh, no one's getting shot out of the cannon. It, the cannon is a fake. It's a, it's a, it's a flaw. Dread skull, bug lips. Oh, bug lips. Whoa. Our dread skull. Man, everybody's all together there. Uh, let's see. Cursed our dread skull nomad for second and third. Oh, through the tumbler. Into the hamster ball. Oh, my God, launch. Oh, shaken. 1334. Shaken. Trinity. Oh, Ben the Stalker. How'd you get down there? Whoa, Ben with a commanding lead. Through the lasers. Oh, there goes Taterness. Just oh, no. fell off. Along with Serenity Trek. Oh, ben watch out for the these stalker. lasers. Mini Mommy's gone. Freaking lasers. Coffee Nerdy Beer's yeah. gone. Agusaku. Albivazin. Rip. Uh-oh. Whoa. Got an accelerator there. Metal... Metal phaser, fearsers, fearsers, metal fearsers. Ben Stucker. New name. Welcome. Oh, Reaper John, you're gone. Oh, uh -oh. you can fly off this side. Look. Uh oh. Oh, there's a lot of people dying right there. Oh, Mac and the, cheese, Zewo. The, the new person. Oh, no, nope. not up here. Let's see who's gonna finish first. Wow. GBD. It could be anybody. Dan, good Damn. job. Damn. Forward. Dang, Dan. Then metal. And then Quindy, whoa, Quindy. whoa, 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 whoa. Once bitten apple, who's in the back back there? I see Cranky Dog. You know, see, this is uh, one of JP Gatro's first races, so he's kind of taking it slow, and you know, he's in the back. He's making sure that he understands how, <laughs> how marble races work. Yeah. You just go ahead and there we go. Bug lips, getting you know, just having a fun old time in the little whirly thing here. Casually Easy. just finishes there. He's easily entertained, if you know. Oh, nice, Chaos Queen. Oh, the laser. Max Styles. Oh, oh, oh. Chaos Queen. Five. There we go. Okay. There you go. Dan. Dan. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> you got legs. Oh. I watched that movie recently. Hold up. <laughs> Shout out to Dan. Who else have we got? We got the new name, Metal. Metal yes. Fairs Riss out there. Your first race there, Metal. <laughs> so pound it. Okay, let's see. Top 10. Leaders. We have, I thought there was a 1% one here. It looks like it disappeared. We are the 1%. You know, Grass, this is so hard. <laughs> Ooh, Dan. 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 You know, sometimes that's how the. Try right, this one Electric Angelic Dream. Hey, Dave, did you take the mic with you? Yeah, he did. Um, yeah, why? Okay, I can't hear you. You want my protocol? <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Let's try this one. Snow Sparkle Adventure sounds seasonal. That? Which one? Yes. Oh, oh, I guess it's, they're just using the same intro then. Okay. Ophelia? Like, from the play? We'll do the uh, Snow Sparkle Dream. After this one. No one's All right. Don't worry. Yeah, let's get our marble on. Who's that? 
That's a new one. Yeah, is that Floating Books? Yeah. Very studious of you, whoever that is. Samurai Jack. Oh, Samurai. I didn't change. Hi. Candy Cane. Oh. DVD. All right. Let's see what we're oh. Ophelia. Huh. I don't know how this what is going to work out. the world? <laughs> this one's wacky. I don't even know where this begins and yeah, ends. Yeah, ends, yeah. <laughs> We're going to be all over the place on this one. Well, we'll see, boys. And girls. <laughs> Books create wind resistance. You got to be naked if you want to be a <laughs> champion. <laughs> exactly. N naked marbles only. Yeah, it, uh, it increases your wind, your wind resistance. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Early I lead. Oh, where they are. It the looks like app. a stadium. It looks like a, oh, wow. a moving stadium. Yeah, so so these go up and down. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, it looks like the bow splitter got stuck way back there in the back. Uh Madman. Mad Man. Not sure I believe yeah. it is Madman. <laughs> I agree. Maybe they're gonna come up this way. Yep, I believe so. So it's Lonely Yeti actually in first, right? Followed closely behind Madman. Oh, Lonely Yeti. Oh. Oh, let's see, Madman. You, Madman's in first. Go up. Oh, Bucklips is second. Oh, right there. Madman. Yeah, to the left. Uh, that that's a really cool finish. Oh, it is. Madman. Dink, Madman, and then Bucklips. Bucklips. Got third. Out of the yeah, I think it might be just for decoration. It's meant to just mesmerize you. Ooh, like a peacock. Love the ending. I love that that final bowl ending. The Tesla coil. Oh, it is coils. There's lightning everywhere. Carrie Michael, bow splitter. Ooh. Who's who else is back there at the bottom? Camera Jack. Untamed Hoppy Hoppy Hippo. <laughs> nice, finish, nice finish noise. Yeah. The angelic choir of your arrival into the finish line. Camel Rage, that would be cool. You know, kind of like a, a what's his name? sportscaster who draws <laughs> on the screen. Yeah. That would be cool. Oh, yeah. Could, uh, we could do that. Yeah, what is it? Madden. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh as oh, you can bad. see, this marble went over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we might have actually had one person die. Oh, you really? guys know what that means. Is that Gross yeah. Yeti? Lonely Yeti. Oh, Lonely Yeti. The other Yeti. Yeah. A lesser known Yeti. Lonely Yeti. <laughs> the, less, the lesser known Yeti. <laughs> so if you're new here, uh, if one person dies or if one person survives, they win a gift card. So Lonely Yeti, you need to email giveaways at reapermini.com. This is episode number 80, I think, of Reaperland. Yeah, it's 80. 80, yeah. episode 80. You won a $20 gift card for being the only, or the only uh, F of marbles. The only F in chat. Yeah, the only F, the lone right. F. Where's this uh, Christmas one? No Sparkle Adventure? Is that what it was? Yeah, it has a zero rating with a 22%. <laughs> I mean, we can go thematic if you guys want. But, yeah, it's uh, off the rails. It's uh, apparently, you know, if you guys wanted Snow Sparkle, let's, let's try Snow Sparkle. We haven't done a zero percent in a long time. Good luck. Hopefully, Check out the new and improved laps. Track. Oh. Oh, laps. You can do laps. That's cool. That's new. We don't... This this might be a crapshoot chat. We don't know what it's going to look like. All right. What do we got? What do we got? We got a Christmas tree. We got a polar bear. <laughs> okay. Or gravity well. Doesn't look too crazy yet. The fallopian tubes. <laughs> okay. And then... And then another gravity well. <laughs> okay. Okay, Justin. <laughs> what? I'm take, taking a look at the course. I don't understand. What are you talking about? <laughs> and, and then there's the kidney tumblers right there. I'm just making sure the course is um, the ready to go. And the kidney tumblers. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. 
Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Those are like the bug eyes. They're yeah, like, that's what it is. Like, John. It's like a fly. Bug eyes. Oh yes. yeah, bug bug eyes. That's it. B yeah. Bug eyes. Yeah. 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 All right. You guys don't get to choose the maps anymore. Right? <laughs> all right. Good luck, chat. We'll see how this one goes. All right. Oh, cursed off again early. Oh, oh Reaper oh. John. For Reaper John. Right blazing the, the trail. <laughs> I got excited because I saw my name <laughs> in the front, but it was in the front of going downhill. Did someone push you off, John? I think so. I think it was uh, Nit Paintinet right there and the dog father. They conspired against me. Oh, Nit Paintinet just falling straight through the middle there, followed behind Dave and our Dread Skull. This reminds me of skiing. I really want to go skiing. I think that's one of my goals for next year is I want to do a ski trip. Oh, Garess. Oh, no. Mm. Someone pushed you, I know. Uh, this, just, minis. this just in. Uh, this just in. I believe last race, uh, Buglip said that he, he covered his marble with butter, and that's how, how he was able to finish third. So we're going to have to go to the judges on that one. Oh, man. Oh, Nit Paint Nit about to go into the, the cannon. Oh, pfft. And then Nihilville, Lonely Painter on the bottom right there. They're going through the cannons. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. The cannons. Lando, the Archmate, Magi. Oh, 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 Reaper Miniatures is in third. Oh, Reaper Miniatures. For, oh, never mind. Oh, Lonely Yeti. Finished first. The only person to F into the first place. Oh, Followed behind. That. And then Lando. Nihilville? Yeah, Nihilville. And then we have Lando, new name, welcome. Daka Flocka Flame, great rapper. <laughs> JP, uh, JP Gatro is in the middle of the pack here. It looks like we got some, uh, some nice, slow and steady. This one doesn't have to seem a, a high death rate, but there is like a 22%. Pearl Jam, <laughs> great music. Coffee Nerdery Beer just fell off. Rest F. I saw Mac and Cheese. She pushed her own mom out of the midair. Yeah? She pushed her own wow. mother out of midair. That is cold. Man, hopefully you guys can resolve this over Christmas. Christmas uh, presents and stuff. Striding yep, striding. You know, Aragon, you know, he's the, he is the, spoiler alert, future king of uh, Middle Earth. New so. track record. Whoa. Plus you get bonus for that. Whoa. Nice. There's a lot of Fs. You know, I was the first, the first one, yeah. so. You know, sometimes <laughs> you just got to trail, trail the blazes, you know. <laughs> yeah. Trail the blazes. Yep. Trail the blazes. Let's see here. Who actually wins the December tournament? Actually, no, we're going to do, we are going to do one more year. Yeah. Okay. Are we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. So it's not over. It's, it's not gonna, over until I say it's over. going to be a special, a special day, that one is. Check in real quick. We have Lonely Eddie in first. <laughs> Lonely Hetty. Wow. wow. Lucky. And then Agusaku. Yeah. Is Shannon been the, been the stalker in fifth? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what's up with Mom's me. Dying. <laughs> oh, gosh. What's going on? It's like I ate something spicy. What's going on here? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, there was a spider under here. Um, it was dead, though. Uh, Corky Gal. A lot of names up here in the top ten. Uh, Vigos, Me oh, a new name, Metal, f oh, gosh, that's a hard name to say. I'm just going to call you Metal. <laughs> okay. And then there's uh, Big Jim Slade in seven. We got rings right here in 21st. Hoppy Hoppy Hippo. Uh, the home of happiness. Uh, threw me off a little bit. All right, so we're going to gift our subs, which I believe Grazietti gifted 10. Uh, get closer to it. Oh. Did you grab the wrong mic? I think you grabbed the wrong mic. Oh, okay. How's this one? That's much better. Uh, hey, there we they go. all look alike to me. That makes sense there why they couldn't hear you very well. Yeah. There you well, go. that's good because I was cursing. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go, chat. All right, another another successful episode of Reaperland in the books. Number 80. Number 80. Congratulations on making 80. Yeah, we're catching up to Reaper Live. Yeah. Those guys can s suck it. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Um, yeah. Change it back. Um, yeah, we'll be back next week with more and more shows. No, uh, we will not. 
But yeah, we well, Reaper, Reaper Land, Land will not will be, not be week, Friday. Yeah. Um, check the schedules. It'll be on the schedules on the on the forum schedule calendar and on the Discord calendar as well. So we will see you on New Year's Eve. Yeah, uh, two Fridays from now. Yeah, and then we'll see you next week for Reaper Live. We we will see you on Reaper Live. Um, and then you can join all of our shows next week. We have Anne every morning. Proctor you know, holding it Crow's down. Nosed. Crow's nest. Crow's nest. Crow's nest. Crow's nest. Yeah. Uh, they they missed this week's episode because of dentist. I think dental appointments. Uh, no, Dan. I don't know. Uh, Justin House of X. Uh, mm, not to my knowledge, has not been a, uh, given the a date to us yet. Correct. Oh wow, there's a lot of names in there. Yeah, Moose Kraus, great name to hit to wound. <laughs> Z Timmon, the KG87, KG, the KG. This sounds like a radio station. That sounds more like the sounds more like a Russian airplane to me. Oh, oh well, it's the KG87. <laughs> Get down. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, have a great weekend. Um, I'm going to be doing Secret Santa, so hopefully I get everything on my list. Do you need um, some of that paper that I was showing last night? No, no, okay. no, no. I already have mine wrapped. Oh, okay. It's wrapped in um, a little gnome news wrapping paper. Newspaper. Not newspaper. Gnome wrapping paper. There you go. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Go, you know. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, it's Christmas yeah. time. Yeah, exactly. Go watch. Um, oh, The Witcher came out today. The season two? Uh, season two of The Witcher. Spider-Man. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of stuff to be watching this weekend, hanging out. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Well, who are we going to be raiding, actually? Giggling right. Geek Cat. Oh, Giggling. Oh, we yeah. haven't rated her in a while. Yeah. So go 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 share the love with Geekling. <laughs> Giggling. Um, go sh- you know who she is. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice chill chill space in there. I met Giggling at ReaperCon this year. She was a yeah. lot of fun to hang out with. She was very nice. So I always say, get your shots, stay safe. Mm-hmm. We all want to see you at ReaperCon. Yeah, ReaperCon. Yes. Um, right. It'll be fun. Go tell her that uh, John says hello, and it was fun hanging out at ReaperCon. But don't tell her Dave says hello. <laughs> Have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You're celebrating <laughs> Christmas. And uh, have a great weekend. Good night, everybody. This is a city. Some call it Denton, Texas. We call it Reaper Land.